Hello guys, welcome back to Good Charity Tips and in this video we're gonna talk about how to fix Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2 disconnected from Steam error and how we can completely fix this error. So if you're for the first time to our channel then don't forget to subscribe and click on the bell icon for more notification. So let's move to the workaround. So the first one, what you have to do is when you're having this error which is called Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2 is disconnected from Steam error what you have to do is you just have to uh, go over here and you have to do is you just have to do a restart for that you just have to go over here in the start you have to click over here then you just have to click over here and go for restart and restart is sometimes a very easiest and simple solution so that might work because you should not neglect this because it's had work for many of the users next one is all about you have to sign out the steam exit completely from the steam and you have to sign in back so you can go over here as you can see this is the steam you can completely sign out from the steam if you click over here you can completely log out of the accounts then you just have to do is you just have to close the steam then you just have to open the steam once again sign in back and you have to launch the game might be working out i'm not saying this is work but this you can try this out Moving to the third step is all about you have to update the game and it is very important that you should be updating the game whenever the updates are available so that all the patches will be available so that you can uh, you know uh, play very smoothly. So update right now it is up to date you don't have any updates but most probably you will be getting the update notification so whenever you are getting the update notifications you have to update the game. Before that make sure that the update is given properly for that if you go to the updates tab over here as you can see uh, we are having few options under automatic updates there are three options always keep this game updated only update this game when i launch it high priority always auto update this game before others so you can keep this to always keep this game updated because that is quite easy so uh, so that whenever there is any kind of update or it will be updated from the background so you know there is an update so you don't have to uh, wait for the updates or something it will be done even if you're working on something else moving to the next one is all about you have to verify the game files as i said earlier in all the videos verify integrity of game files is actually one of the solution to many issues even in the dev error issues so by doing the verify integrity of game file it fixes the issue so to do this you just have to go over here in the call of duty modern warfare 2 right click and go to properties now go to local files as you can see there is an option verify integrity of game file just click on this one so they're going to ask you a question go for yes so you have to wait for it so what happens is when verify integrity of game file is happening if any files are corrupted or if any files are missing then they will be fixing from their end so this is actually one of the solution including the dev errors this step is being included over there even the flickering screen issues and all those things this is like a common one you can try it out because many issues are happening because of this corrupted files and missing so for example errors like disconnected from steam so if you do this step that might be working so this is very important so you have to try this out moving to the next one is all about you have to run the game as an administrator we have two options to do this one is you just have you should know where the game is installed if you know that you can do you can follow this step so here I know where the game is installed. So that purpose I'll be going in this VC. And I know the game is installed on local DC. So let me open this. And in your case it will be any other disk. So here I'll open the game. Now I'll go for users. Sorry. I'll open the, this one. And I'll go to program files 86. I'll navigate to Steam. Now I have to select over here Steam apps. I'll go to common. I'll go to Call of Duty HQ which is the folder. Right now, I'll scroll down and as you can see, this is the cod.exe file. So here I have to right click and I have to go to show more options. So I have to select this, go for show more options and navigate to properties. From here, click on compatibility. Now as you can see, you have to click on rent this program as administrator. So here it is very important that you should be selecting rent this program as administrator so then go for apply and go for ok once it is done you are done with this one you just have to go to the steam and you have to launch the game and you will not be having the trouble hereafter 
Moving to the next one is all about you have to clear Steam download cache. That is very important. Clearing the download cache has worked for many. Even I don't know how it is related, but this worked. For that, you just have to do this. Just have to go over here at the top on the Steam top left. We click over here. Go to settings. Now from here, go over here on the download. And here, as you can see, there is an option clear download cache. So just click over here so that it will be done. So clearing the download cache might resolve issues regarding downloading or starting apps. So that is why it is working. So just click on clear download cache. After this, try to launch the game might be working. Even after done with this, we have parallelly one more step that is called. It is delete the Steam web browser data. For that, you just have to follow the same. Go over here at the top left. Click on settings. Now just go to web browser and as you can see, uh, delete the web browser data, just delete it and most probably after deleting, try to launch the game and that will be working good. These are the basic steps, even we have few more steps. The next is all about you have to allow the game exe file to your antivirus program. For that, you just have to go over here. I mean, you have to go over here in the search and you have to go to settings. We can search for settings. Now from here, if you're on Windows 11, go for privacy and security. From here, click on Windows security. Now from here, you just have to click on virus sensor protection. Now over here, if you scroll down, you'll be getting the options called ransomware protection. And now you have to turn this on. So turning this on will fix the issue. You have to turn this on. They're going to ask you the question, so just turn this on. Go for select allow an app. That means you're selecting an app. Here I have already selected uh, the Steam. It is already done. So uh, what you have to do is you just have to select this. Okay. So once it is done, you have to uh, add the app. You can add the app from here itself. We'll be getting an option like you can browse the app. So as you can see, it is already added. So there will be not be any kind of issues after that. Once it is added, you just have to do this. So right now I'm closing this because I'm getting an error that is on the premium pro. Some of the users might knew that. So I just turned this off. So once you are added on the allow an app through the antivirus program, the next is you have to do on the Windows security firewall. For that, you just have to go over here. You have to search for control panel. Just open this. Now from here, go to system and security. Now from here, select Windows Defender Firewall. Now from here, you just have to click on allow an app or feature through Windows Defender Firewall. Now from here, as you can see, the call of duty is being set. It is both ticked as well as it is both checked. It is very important. So you have to check. It should be checked both on private as well as on the public. Once it is done, you have to close this and go back to the Steam. Try to launch the game. Might be working. Next one is all about. You have to do this. You just have to check whether the private and public in Windows Defender Firewall for game is being done. That I said earlier that I'll show you once again. Go to Control Panel, System and Security, Windows Defender Firewall and go to allow an app through over here. If you go over here on the Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2, it should be checked for both private as well as both the public. If it is any one, it's both not checked, then you will be having the trouble. So you have to check this. You have to mark this as ticked. And moving to the next one is all about you have to do is you just have to perform a network reset. That is uh, very important to perform a uh, network reset. But keep in mind when you do the network reset, they will be uh, having an issue like you have to reconnect back to the Wi-Fi. That is, you'll be uh, losing all the passwords and all those things if you don't save it. So you'll be having the trouble. So you just have to make sure that part is fine. So just go over here. You just have to search for or navigate to settings. Go for network and internet. Now from here, you just have to go to over here on advanced network settings. Over here, as you can see, there is an option called network reset. Just make sure that you are reset with this. Right. So this is what you have to do. Now, the next one is all about you have to turn off core isolation in Windows. That is very important step. That is, uh, I don't know how it's going to work, but core isolation. So you just have to open this and make sure the core isolation is turned off. That is very important. But I'm not suggesting this, but even you can try and move to the next one is all about you have to do is you just have to update the windows to the latest version that is very important so for that you just have to go over here you have to search settings 
now we just have to go over here on windows update now from here you have to make sure that you're on the latest version of windows update so that is quite important so if you're not on the windows update just update it and most probably they'll not be having an issue just close this and you have to go to the stream and try to launch the game even after trying if it's still not working the next is all about you have to uninstall and reinstall the steam you can do this for that you just have to go over here on control panel now open this now from here what you have to do is just have to select programs go to programs and features so these are the available uh, installed folders right now i mean apps on the pc so there is an option over here if you scroll down you can see the steam so you can right click and go for uninstall it and you can re-download it from the uh, even you can google it you can download reinstall it back then sign in with your credentials then try to launch the game last and the least one which i would like to recommend you guys is you have to uninstall the game you can do this from here itself on the steam if you go over here there is an option to uninstall but uh, uninstalling the game has worked but it's not if you take a send person it has worked around 30 to 40 percentage but even the rest 60 is not working so you can try even if it's not even trying all this if it's not working you can try for uninstalling the game but uh, you know it's around 55 or 16 gb so uninstalling and reinstalling back is all about a lot of process so think about it and do it even after trying all these above step still you are not uh, working with it and then definitely if you are having only this one is left then you can try with uninstalling and reinstalling the game not only on the same disk we can change the disk for example as you can see i have installed the game on local disk c we can change to d or e then see whether you are able to fix the issue so these are the possible workarounds when it comes to how to fix call of duty modern warfare 2 disconnected from steam error and how we can fix this up and I hope this video is helpful and if you find this video helpful don't forget to subscribe and click on the bell icon for more notification see you soon in the next video peace out bye bye